hey, psst, psst, you, yeah, yeah, you, ladies, come over here. I, I got a question for you. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I have to ask. Does your brain work? <laughs> now, don't laugh. I I'm serious. I really think I'm losing my mind. I mean, I put things down and then I can't find them, especially I'm trying to put them in some place safe. And then I start to speak and the words are just not there. I mean, you know, like names of people and places and Sometimes I walk into a room and completely forget why I'm there. The other day I put a load of laundry into the washing machine and forgot all about it. Now don't laugh, this is serious. I think I'm losing my mind. What? What did you say? How old am I? Why should that matter? Menopause? Old age? Normal? This is normal? <laughs> nope, not going there. You know, in other cultures, older people are revered, loved, and considered wise. <laughs> Guess I live in the wrong country. But I do serve a God that does have a purpose for those of us that are well-seasoned, ladies. Titus 2, 3-5 Older women, likewise, are to be reverent in their behavior, not malicious gossips, nor enslaved to much wine, teaching what is good so that they may encourage the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be sensible, pure workers at home, kind, being subject to their own husbands, so that the word of God will not be dishonored. So, my sisters, we have a job to do. So what if we try to give advice, but they don't listen? Do you remember the story of Peter in Acts chapter 12? King Herod was arresting the followers of Christ and throwing them in prison. The Jews were pleased when Herod had the brother of John beheaded, so Herod arrested Peter. He had Peter guarded by four squads of soldiers. Now, the plan was to bring Peter out before the people after the days of unleavened bread, but the church began to pray fervently for Peter, and God heard those prayers and sent an angel to rescue him. Now, when Peter escaped and knocked at the door of the gate of the home where they were all praying for him, a servant girl named Rhoda heard the voice of Peter and ran to tell the others that Peter was at the door. And this was their reply, Acts 12, 15. They said to her, you are out of your mind. But she kept insisting that it was so. Now Rhoda was a servant girl. She had no power or authority over anyone to whom she was speaking, but she was adamant. She did not give up. She knew what she heard and would not back down from her message. I just love that, don't you? The servant girl should be an inspiration to us all. If you are an older woman, like me, you may find your mind is not as sharp as it once was, but if you are mature in the faith and lived a life faithful to God, you have knowledge to share. If you've had a successful marriage, raised good children, ran a home well, have financial knowledge, or been through some really tough times, God wants you to share that knowledge. Now, the younger women may not be ready to listen at first, but like Rhoda, we can't give up trying to deliver our message. No, we can't force our words upon someone. If those we want to teach don't listen the first time, just wait, be patient. In time, they may be interested in what we have to say. Just remember, if Rhoda had not heard Peter knocking and ran to tell the others, they would have never known that Peter was there. So let those younger ladies know you have some exciting information to share. We can share about how God has walked with us, helped us, and blessed us and that God will do the same thing for them too. Eventually, the door to Peter was opened, 
and they were amazed to see him standing there. Then Peter motioned for them to be all be quiet because he had something important to tell them. But Peter could not have delivered that message until they opened that door. Our goal as mature women in Christ is to get the younger women to open the door to Jesus because Jesus is standing knocking at the door and he has a life-changing message for us all. It's true. Our minds may not be as sharp as they once were, but the message we have from God will never grow dull. And that, my sweet sisters, is just one of the many blessings growing older will give us. Thank you for watching this video. Please tell your girlfriends about this ministry. And ladies, never forget that God loves you, and so do I.